looks like or sounds like to you in the classroom? What do you think about that? What's your role as a teacher when it comes to inquiry-based teaching and learning? When they're making mistakes, but it's I too hard to sit back and let them just yeah. make a crap. But, 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 no, like, and it doesn't work. Really right. right. But then, where is the learning? Because they're getting things wrong. Have you not seen your class? What I'd like you to do now is go ahead and choose somebody. This is always fun. Mm -hmm. Somebody to introduce yourself. Okay. 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 What does inquiry look like or sound like in the classroom? Yeah, and I think as the, as the teachers in inquiry, you're not responsible to know everything the students are going to learn. In many cases, you're going to learn right along with them. I mean, that's part of the inquiry. They may have a path that you're not familiar with, and being comfortable with that unknown, and being comfortable with not being the one leading it. Learning from the kids is something that can be very challenging for some, some teachers who have taught differently for many years. And every other class, what a way it is. But I'm very proud of said, how do you do that? How do you get that? The techniques, I said, what do you either get to show me yeah. what they've done because I'm going to I have to back in here now. I'm going to it, right? Mm -hmm. Always. Even if they want to, they want to get some cool things going on. So, Okay, we're going to switch gears. Those are wonderful. While you're working on the next aspect of this of this session, um, we'll get those up on the wall so you can reflect on them later. Uh, as you can see, magically while you were discussing, um, some I've, I guess we could call them topics or concepts appeared on the walls. You're now going to break into groups of three. Okay, I'm going to give you a sheet that has three names on it. Those are going to be your partners. These are going to be your partners. I'm just, this is by chance giving the name that's giving it to the person with the name on the top of the sheet. And those are in no order of importance or anything else, not by age, not by anything else. So, um, and then within, what you're going to do now is I'm going to give you a set, each team is going to have a set of sentence scripts. And you're going to walk around and take a look at these with your group and try to figure out which sentence scripts are applicable to which one of these topics. Okay? And you're going to do your best. First, I would suggest you walk around and take a look at all of them so you know what the differences are. And then go through these. Each team has nine. Um, and put them where you think they fit. All right? So.
Alright, you want to go ahead and share out what you what you're thinking? Okay, which one's environment? Okay, so this side's environment, you think? And what do you think over here? Okay, teaching materials. Do you guys have any thoughts on what the two sides might be? How do they be separated out? The side of the teachers. And this is what the class Okay, yeah, both of those are pretty close. Um, in making these subtitles here, uh, we actually cut out the first couple of words from the document we're using. Over here on this side, the word that's cut out of these is the word teacher. So for example, teachers model behavior and skills. Teacher as facilitators. Teachers as multiple means, uh, teachers uh, use multiple means of assessment. Over here, anybody think they know the exact? What word? How many words is it? Class two words. Class two words. Students, students, correct? They need two of us. Students. Let me start with. Students work. Uh, yeah, so actually, it's, it's more than two words in some cases. So it's, yeah, students work in a variety of configurations to encourage communication. Students work in appropriate, supportive, and emotional environment. And the last one over here is students work in a supportive physical environment. Okay? Now, there's good news and bad news. Good news is there are quite a few that are in the correct place. The bad news is there are quite a few that aren't in the, the, the correct place. So, in your groups, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a list, and you're each going to be somewhat evenly divided. And I'd like you to go around and grab the ones that are incorrect and put them in the correct spots. And some of these look like they might be able to go in two, sometimes three spots, but I want you to see at least what the document has dictated are the correct places for these. Um, 
we can get to talk about it, but I, I imagine that's quite a difficult, that's probably the most challenging task. Yeah. Because in order to get those confident, comfortable students, the teacher himself needs to be confident and comfortable themselves. And they're always watching. Yeah. It's not so important. What you're, what you're doing with one student may not be as important as how other students who are watching you interact with that student sure. is. Yeah. When it comes to respecting students, when it comes to sure. allowing them to do things. <laughs> yeah. They're learning more from how you're treating the, the, the other students you're talking to yeah. than they are when you're talking to them. So it's really important. Yeah. You're not talking to those students. Go on sticky note. Sticky note will go over here. And that's your ticket out. 